Hello everyone, namaste. My name is Anna Kim. I'm a political researcher at the Embassy of the Republic of Korea. Recently, we noticed that more and more people are interested in Korean language and culture. We often think that we have to go to Korea to pursue Korean language and studies, but that is not always the case. A lot of Indian universities are offering programs in Korean studies and languages. So one of them is Jawaharlal Nehru University's um, Korean Studies and Languages. That is why we are gathered here today to talk to all the students here. We'd like to hear a little bit about their experiences and how they got into the university. Hello. 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 This building right over here is the School of Language, Literature and Culture. It houses the Center for Korean Studies. It offers a wide range of programs right from bachelor's to PhD in Korean studies as well as more than 10 other languages. This is one of the most happening places of our campus. It's located on Aravali Hills. It's the tallest building of our campus. And the best thing about this library is that it's open 24-7. This beautiful building right here is a convention center. This is where all the major events and programs take place in JNU and it's probably one of the first buildings that the students encounter in the campus because this is where the whole admission process takes place. And fun fact, this is where we celebrate Hangul Festival every year. I'm so glad to meet promising students from Jawaharlal Nehru University in the Korean Language and Studies Department. So we would like our viewers to be um, more informed about other options of learning Korean. Can you introduce the Department of Korean Studies at JNU? Hello, I am Harshita and I am also from Center for Korean Studies. I am currently pursuing my master's from uh, CKS. So Korean as a language was introduced in JNU in 1976 as a diploma course. But uh, our uh, centre became an independent department in JNU in 2013 and it offers various courses. Uh, it offers bachelor's courses, master's program, MPhil and PhD as well. Uh, it is considered one of the largest and most fun centre in uh, School of Languages, uh, Literature and Cultural Studies. The best thing about our centre is that students from various backgrounds, both international and national students, but from various states within the nation, are here so we get to learn about various perspectives and uh, know about their culture also. Along with that, uh, one benefit for learning a language here is that if we, have, if we are learning a bachelor's degree, we can learn a master's also here as it is an integrated course. And even if someone has not done bachelor's in any of the language, uh, he or she can apply for the master's in Korean 
and they just need to have a basic skills and some uh, normal conversation skills of Korean language and then they can learn Korea as a high level that is the master degree and sometimes uh, students have to go through the interview process for the masters which is not very hard. Talking about the faculty, I would say that we have one of the most supportive, interactive and approachable professors in our university. Again, we have both Indian and native Korean uh, professors uh, so that we get to interact with them one on one and get to learn, get to have a first hand experience about uh, Korea and the language. So yes, there is uh, a lot about uh, Korean Center. Could you tell us a little bit about the specific subjects that are offered at the Center for Korean Studies at JNU. I'm Tanisha Pine and I'm a third year student studying Korean at CKS in JNU. We have various subjects in JNU CKS and for example from the first year we learn Korean alphabet and then we move on to Korean reading, writing and listening and speaking also and um, then we have grammar and from the second year onwards, we have Hanja classes, which is basically Chinese traditional characters. And uh, simultaneously, we also have tool courses in about the geography, history and culture of Korea in English. And usually from the third year, we have uh, classes on interpretation and translation. Additionally, we also have two, uh, optional courses uh, where we can opt for literally any other subject outside of Korean and that way we can learn about a lot more than our just a specific specific major i am currently in masters uh, program so we have e classes the concept of e classes where uh, we have uh, professors from different renowned korean universities and they teach us about uh, uh, korea as in uh, we have I, i'm in third semester and in third semester we are learning about uh, korean tourism and marketing so uh, that is uh, one of the aspects. Why did you choose Korean language? Hi, myself Abhishek Kumar. I'm also a classmate. I love to study Korean history and culture. I have a great enthusiasm. I wanted to learn Buddhism and Buddhist culture mainly. So from that, I moved on. Korean Buddhism, Fulguksa, Sakuram, I got to know about them. But the reading materials in English, lang English and Hindi language was very few. So for that I started learning Korean language but there was no any guidance so I decided to choose Korean language and I feel very proud of my that decision. And also with the popularity of K-drama and K-pop, if there is one language everyone wants to learn that has to be, that has to be Korean because it has made everyone a fan of it. What was your friends and what was your family's reaction when you decided to choose Korean as a major? Hello, my name is Pamang. Uh, I am a third year student. I'm doing my bachelor's in Korean language and culture studies in Jin. Uh, taking a foreign language as a career option is still very new in my state, that is Arunachal Pradesh. So even my parents, they didn't know much about it when I told them. But still, fortunately, they were so supportive of me. Although my father was a bit worried about my future as well, but then uh, they told me that just do what you want to do. Just give your best in whatever you do. Especially my sister, she motivated me so much. Hello, I'm Sukanya. I'm from Bihar and I'm second year student at Jawaharlal Nehru University. So my family reaction was not uh, shocking because they already familiar with language. As uh, I, my uncle was uh, already in JNU, so they know about language. So they were very happy when I got selected in JNU, in, especially in Korean language. So they were very happy and they were very supportive for me and my friends were also very supportive. My name is Aditya and I'm in graduation third year from JNU, CKS department. So my family reaction was not good. It was just like weird because they find it something weird that uh, most of the Indian students or Indian, uh, Indian uh, people they have, they want to become like an engineer, doctor, any other field. But, Learning Korean was uh, something a uh, new experience, and they heard something new about that. And but it was upon me to convince them that yeah, they are what what are the scopes, what are the future plans about that Korean, and how I can excel in that field. So at last uh, I was able to convince my parents because I told them what are the approach, what are the uh, scope, and what are the things which I am doing 
because i was having a very good interest in uh, korean language and fun finally I, i was managed to do so that's why i'm here and uh, i'm doing i'm doing good so um, i'm very curious to know um, are there any requirements for the admission into jnu in your center my name is md saifali i am ba third year student at a center for korean studies in order to get admission into jnu a student needs to have a 50 percentage in their intermediates in from any of the stream and they need to apply for the uh, entrance exam which is held uh, annually by the university they need to select the desired subjects that they want to study they need to appear in the exam and a score more than the cutoffs and this way they can get uh, admission in their desired subjects and uh, one there is a misconception around uh, students and parents that uh, in order to get to, into a central university people think that it is a very difficult uh, job but uh, as for me and uh, whatever i have heard from my students it's uh, not uh, very difficult they just need to have a basic knowledge of the subject that they are uh, willing to learn do you have any advice for prospective students who would like to enter your prestigious university hi my name is aman patel and i am a final year student at ck center uh, in jawala near university i would advise them to be clear about their goal and stay focused on it uh, the goal of your life is to give your life a meaning and purpose uh, learn about diverse group of people uh, including teachers staffs and students community and don't postpone what you can do today for tomorrow and the most important thing uh, increase your level of knowledge rather than uh, memorizing it what kind of future can we expect if you study korean language it's not limited to the korean language only that if you want that if you are interested in polity if you are if you are interested in economics you can have so many good universities world ranking universities in korea it's just like you on said our seniors are there they are studying there Hi, I'm Kashish Kundan. I'm doing a bachelor's from Center for Korean Studies here at JNU. Um, many of our alumni are holding great um, positions and offices at in Korea in Korean companies. So it's you know really motivating, and enth- uh, I feel enthusiastic to pursue Korean language. And I'd like to conclude and ask your opinions on what is your future plan. In future, I want to go to Korea. and i just want to see that kyongju region where sakura and fulguksa is there and i just want to learn how buddhism is spread in korea and i want to do a research thing of that buddhism how it spread there and buddhist art and culture and i want to publish a research paper in hindi as well as in korean as well as in korean as well as in english so that indian student especially high school student can study those research paper and can get motivated to study about korean buddhist buddhi korean buddhism as well as art and culture and they can also choose korean language so my future plan is to uh, continue to up to my masters and uh, i want to be an academician in future just like my professors who are also the alumni of jawaharlal nehru university from center of korean studies and it's really you know inspiring to see them doing so well in their lives um, being scholars publishing such great research papers i'm sadika i'm from delhi and i'm pursuing my bachelor's degree so i also like how they got scholarship and how they are now professor and living a successful life so i think we all want to do the same as yeah. them so yeah getting a scholarship and going to Korea is probably all of our dreams right now but um dead aside i would like i said uh, people in my state they are not really aware of you know foreign language and stuff but notice i think is the hub of k pop and k drama fans although there are a lot of fans there who genuinely wants to learn more about korean culture we don't really have opportunities there because we're so far away from the center we are getting so much opportunities here but it's not there in our state so i would love to teach um, all those people who genuinely wants to learn about this just like me so i want to help them grow their knowledge about korea um not just limited to korea k-pop or k-dramas or korean skin care but more about korean culture korean tradition korean food everything about korea This classroom is built with so many things which uh, a person needs.
uh, while visiting the Kota. So we have a mini library uh, that is uh, beside us and uh, there are so many things just like that watch that represents the both the Indian timing and the Korean timing. We have the small small paintings. We have the small crafts. We have uh, some small small trees which are which are represent the different uh, the Korea as well as India relations. Uh, we have even the lights that is that represent Earth, uh, man, and the uh, moon. So these all things are representing the Korea. One way we can say that uh, it is representing Korea in India. The embassy is contributing a lot in this classroom. Just like uh, just few months ago, they gifted us a handbook, which is a Korean dress. And uh, we are enjoying that this classroom and it's a uh, wonderful place.